Hi guys, just in case you are in two minds as to whether the Art Smart training benches were done properly or not, I'm going to take you through the kit that we've got in on the training benches. Obviously, these boxes look like absolutely loads of gear right now. Um, once everything is out of the cardboard, out of the protection, it'll sit just fine on the bench. Um, talking of which, if you're coming on at Smart Academy's first training week, 17th of August, get in the comments, let me know if you're not unbox all this stuff or you want it unbox ready for you. Anyway, let's go through it. So what we've tried to do with this is create a training bench, which is very much a real world scenario. So it's all the equipment, all the kit that we would use on an actual Art of Smart job. And what we've tried to do is we bring this in, put it into the rack and you're gonna build up your own rack in here uh, and set up the network and stuff. So obviously because it's control four system, we're using a control four EA3 processor. So. The reason we've put a EA3 in on every single training bench is because the EA3 is the first Control 4 controller where you've got the I.O. out. So what I mean by that is we've got digital audio. So we've got some audio streams. So in order for you to set up a multi-room audio system, we are going to have you connect out of there with the Planet Waves connectors. You're going to come into the Triad Audio Matrix switch. So that's a 8x8 audio matrix switch. And then you're going to come out into a Triad 4 zone amp connect that all up with the planet waves and the, the speaker wires, and then you're gonna wire out in the field to the speakers. So it would only be right that we use Gallo Acoustics. So we have a mixture of the Adiva and the Adiva SC speakers in black. We've got the stainless and we've also got some white ones as well. So loads of Gallo speakers. You're gonna mount and fit the Gallo speakers using what we call the Gallo spanner, 24 mil spanner, uh, and you're gonna get that installed. We also have audio wise down on the bottom here. We've got a Triad R28 dual tweeter speaker. So that's a really good uh, quality speaker. We're gonna have you using a Klein pad saw. You're gonna cut that out. We're gonna fit it into, obviously I've got ceiling grid in here, but we're gonna replace some of the tiles with plasterboard cutouts. Um, you're gonna install the ceiling speaker into in there, install a fire hood on it, and we're gonna connect that up on there. Again, for another way we're going to do audio is we have a live audio speaker. So a live audio speaker will be connected, connected and integrated into part of the Control 4 system. So for controlling the Control 4 system, how do we go about that? So every single training bench is going to have a Control 4 touchscreen. So this is the 7 inch version, to do a 7 and a 10 inch version. So we're going to put this in. It'll be connected to your ear three through the network and you're going to set this up configure it and you should be able to play all the off through your ceiling speakers now on top of that obviously a smart home runs on a network so what we're doing about the network well we actually have two options so four of the training benches are going to be set up with the package and four of the training benches are going to be set up with arachnis so we've got a complete mix of networks so people can see both we can maybe have a bit of a chop over so you can see it um i'll run through the package network first so We've got a package RK1 router. So that is one of the best package routers that they do. Uh, we're gonna have you set up some VLANs on that, configure the network, configure up the package managed switch. So this is an SX8P switch, which basically gives you eight ports of PoE power. And then on top of that, you're gonna connect up a package access point. We're gonna have you configure all the network, set up um, all the bits and pieces to do with the network. And that'll be duplicated on the Arachnis. So out the Arachnis network, we have an Arachnis router. So that's the R310 router. And then we're also going to have you with the package Arachnis R310 eight port PoE switch. So again, you've got eight ports of PoE and there will be an Arachnis 510 access point uh, just on back order at the minute. So we'll get those in when they come. Um, that's the network. One thing you might notice here, the package is one extra box. That is a package PDU. So what do I mean by PDU? It's the device um, which we use to do the resets on the service page on an AOS job. And we're going to have a service page. You're going to reset the devices. You're going to bring all that through on there. Uh, and if you connected the rack up properly using the IEC connectors and the flex leads, devices should turn off when we use the wheel on the front of that. We're also going to use the temperature sensor uh, and configure some alerts. So when the rack reaches above a certain temperature, it's going to email you. That will be all done through there. A um, couple of other things we're going to have you do is we've got a serial connector for the Control 4 controller. So we're going to use one of the serial ports on the back uh, and connect that up. We also have for each training bench, Control 4 SR260 remote. Again, you're going to be setting this up. You're going to be configuring that. And um, 
this should control the TV. So putting a 32 inch LG TV on each bench. And again, we're gonna con connect that up. As you can see on the back here, we've got the IO port. So for the infrareds, we're gonna connect that up and the remote control and also the touch screen, um, should, you should be able to control that. Now lighting, we've got some control for lighting on here. So you guys have seen how we've done the lighting panels. You've seen how all that goes together. Now you're gonna have a chance to create your own. So we have a two panel enclosure. So within the two panel enclosure, we're gonna have um, buzz Ethernet gateway, we're going to have um, the buzz power supply, so you're going to connect up a buzz keypad onto the control for lighting system and then you're also going to connect up an 8 channel dimmer using Doncaster Cable's Easy Strip LSF cable and then all numbered up with a cable ident, exactly the same as we do in the panels and then using Doncaster Cable's tri-rated cable, create all the links back to the module. So that's that, that's the audio, CCTV. Now, Again, because I want to give you a bit of experience on a couple of different systems, we have both a Luma CCTV system and a Lillian CCTV system. Obviously, Lillian is an integration partner of Control 4. Um, Luma is owned by Control 4. So we've got both. So you've got a Lillian NVR going in the rack. You've got a Luma NVR going in the rack. And again, those will both be connected up to the TV. And how could I forget? HD Anywhere M Hub 411 Matrix. So we're going to be setting up a zone of video distribution. You have a couple of sources to connect. You're going to connect it all up, connect your ear processor to it, and then go to your TV using the M Hub video distribution system. Massive shout out to the guys at HD Anywhere 1AV. I'm sorting this out. M Hub 411. What else? Obviously the rack. So the rack is going to be a 15U strong rack from Snap AV. Uh, and you're going to connect all these components up, get everything working, and everything in our training bench should work. So for those of you that are coming on training, I will see you soon. And um, for those of you that are coming on training, maybe next year.